trust in and they're not going to hold me back by having bitterness and animosity and hatred. I'm going forward in the name of Jesus. Praise God. If you preach the gospel, everybody's not going to love you. If you stand for truth, those that's not going to, their chances are they're not going to like you. And it's like what Chris told me this morning about someone won a Grammy Award or something and got up and said something like this. Well, I'm not going to thank Jesus for this. He said, and I'm not going to thank God for this. And they held up their crown or whatever it was, their, 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 their award, and says, this is my God. Well, I want to tell you, I told Brother Chris, I said, you watch their life. They'll wind up like Marilyn Monroe. They'll wind up like the lead singer, singer Von Scott, ACDC. They'll end up like that. You can't keep God to the curve. Amen, brother. And take him lightly and down talk him publicly. God still makes it sound. I'll tell you what, she might find herself glad her back crying out to God saying, I'm sorry. Amen. Going forward. And if you go forward, everybody's not going to love you. It's just a fact. So, so people that are against you, people that are, are, are envious toward you, people that are jealous toward you, people that are mad at you, you, you go forward. Amen. I'm telling you, when this ministry starts going forward, there will be other ministries talk about this one. Everybody's not going to like it because souls are still getting saved at the Father's house. Amen. Right? Yeah. But see, they don't have a kingdom vision. I won't cross chapel over, overwhelmed with souls. The ark overwhelmed with souls. Grace house overwhelmed with souls. Every church in this is just preaching the gospel. And brother, overwhelmed with souls because yeah. there's enough lost yeah. people in Florence, brother. Every house can be filled. Yeah. Right. If we'll just come together in the name of Jesus and work together in the name of Jesus and our city go forward in God. Praise God. Job went forward. He lost his ten children. We're going to close in a few moments. Job lost his ten children, brother. Lost every one of them. His wife Back said on God, but you know, we, we can scold her, but she hurt too. She loved them kids too. And she came to Job and told Job to curse God and die. He said, woman, you talk like a foolish woman. I came into this world naked, and I'm going to leave this world naked. But blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen? And Job went forward. And if you read the end of Job's life, he had twice as much as what he had before Satan came through. And he had an eye, a mentality of going forward. Jeremiah the Bible calls him the weeping prophet. He was thrown in a pit, locked up in prison, and the scripture says this. Jeremiah was going to quit preaching the word of God. He, he was frustrated with preaching to a people that never listened to him, never listened to him. But, but he kept doing what God said to do. But the Bible says, he said this to paraphrase it, I just wanted to quit. I just wanted to shut up. I just wanted to stop. But God, your word. It's like a fire that's shut up in my bones. I can't shut up if I wanted to. Amen. Ford. In Philippians 3 and 7, we'll read these scriptures. We'll share a few things and quit. Philippians 3, 7 and 8 says this. Paul said this in Philippians 3. Seven, he said, but what things were gained to me? What things were gained to me? Those things prior that I call gained to me. My, my influence, uh, my, my social status, my, my, my money, my, my education. He said, but what things were gained to me? Those I counted loss for Christ. Go to verse 8, brother. It says, yea, doubtless. And I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things. And notice what he said. Suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung. Anybody know what dung is? He said I'm counting my past as dung and do count them but dung. Why? That I may win Christ. His purpose was to win Christ. Yeah. Listen to 
this. Listen to this. He said he called it dung. Dung means garbage. It means refuge. We know what dung is. And anybody ever cleaned any horse stalls out? You clean the dung out of the stall. What Paul was saying is this. I count that as, as loss. And he said that I may win Christ. I just count it as loss that I may count them but dung that I may win Christ. What did he mean when he said that I may win Christ? He said, not that to win popularity. He said, I'm not after popularity. He said, I'm not after fame. He said, I'm not after fortune. He said, I'm not after position. I'm not after power. He says, Amen. the world holds these things in priority, brother. Position, power, fame, fortune. The world holds these in priority. But Paul compared all these things as dumb. Paul wanted to do what? He wanted to win Jesus. This was his priority. It takes, listen to this, it, it's time to leave whatever is holding us back and to pursue after God and go forward in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Let's stand on feet. Come on, Brother Daniel. Go forward, listen. Can you imagine when the Israelites went forward, they had to trust God that He would not let these watery walls come crashing down upon them? Care my note, won't forget it. Can you imagine when Moses said, Stand still and say, Salvation the Lord, and he said, Go forward? Lariki, God said, Go forward. Amen. Danny, we gotta go forward. Willie, we gotta go forward. We gotta go forward in God. But, but can you imagine when, 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 when God said, tell them to go forward? Go forward. What do you mean go forward? What do you mean? Then Moses took the rod and he stretched it out over the sea. You sang an old song years ago. And I don't remember. If I did, I wouldn't sing it. But anyways. Uh, but, but, but he stretched that old rod across the sea. And guess what? What do you mean go forward? All of a sudden, they started that journey. All of a sudden, brother, the water started doing this. All of a sudden, it split right down the middle of the Red Sea. They had a wall of water here and a wall of water there. And Moses said, go forward. I'm telling you, some 3,000 men and women and livestock and, and everything else had to go forward across there. And the Bible says when they were going forward, they were walking on dry ground. But listen to this. They had to trust God that He would not let these watery walls come crashing down upon them. Listen, we must believe that God will fight back the enemy while we go forward, right? It looks impossible. It looks like we can't win a thousand this year for God. But God says we can if we'll just obey Him and go forward. If we'll get go forward in God, there's not enough room in this building to see everybody that will be saved. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Glory if we'll just go forward. Amen. Willie's preached this before. He knows the definition of this. He's found it in the Hebrew. God. Go forward means this. What's it mean? Here's what it means. He says, I've been planted here so long. I've got my tent right here. In other words, God has said, don't pitch your tent right here on this side of the Red Sea. I want you over there. Amen. Right? He says, don't, don't, don't get too comfortable where you're at because I'm not going to leave you there long. I'm going to park the seat for you to walk over. You're going forward. But go forward in Hebrew means this. It means to pull up tent stakes. It means to pull them out of the ground. Fold that thing up, brother. Because we're going over yonder. Amen. Praise God. We're going forward. Amen. 